interwebs. How are you doing? I am doing well. I want to preface this by saying I have not been to my P.O. box in a very long time. This mail was picked up like, like Christmas time, <laughs> like either right after my Christmas vlog or like right after New Year's. Um, so <laughs> there's like a solid month or six weeks worth of stuff sitting at my P.O. box. This is stuff that has been sitting in my office for like the last month because I'm terrible. Also, anybody who sent me a signed envelope in the past like six months, it's literally sitting in a pile and I will be sending you stuff, I swear to God. I'm just awful. Like you're going to get it in the mail someday and you're going to be like, oh, random panzer. I watched her four and a half years ago. Wonder what ever happened to her. I like, it's not that I don't, it's not that I don't love you. It's that I am a scatterbrained, disorganized derpasaur. Anyways, um, I had two things in my P.O. box the last time I went. Like I said, this is, well, this one is dated January 6th. So I probably went the first week of January because this one's dated Jan uh, December 17th, but I got them at the same time. So pretty much, if you have, if you have sent me something, after the first week of January, I will get it eventually. <laughs> my P.O. box isn't very close to my house because there's a lot of small towns around here and I just, you never know. People, people on the other side of the computer, some of them are not quite as nice as you guys are. So I just have to, I have to be safe. I have to look out for my welfare. So, <laughs> so my P.O. box is kind of far away from my house, but that is neither here nor there. Okay, this first package, ooh, stickers. I love it. All right, this is so cute. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, this is adorable. I had an envelope inside the envelope and it says, To Miss Random Panzer, somewhere in New York, Murka. And the back has got an owl sticker and it says, Okay to read on camera. And it's a little card with a heart that has a crown and it says, Love, which is really cute. I just dropped the envelope. <laughs> YOLO. And it says, Hi, Panzer. Loved you on King of the Nerds. Sassy or not, thanks. <laughs> and your vlogs, etc. Thanks for the Poro or Appa charm. Adorable. Oh, I made Poro charms on my Etsy. She must have bought one. And there was one girl I was talking to. I assume it's this girl. And I think her name is Sierra. Um, about how Poros totally look like baby Appas from Air Avatar The Last Airbender. And they do. I should put little arrows on them and just market them that way. That'd be awesome. Anyways, you're such an inspiration. The world needs more nice people like you, and I've never met you. Aw, thanks. I do photography of all types, but I sell what I call alphabetography, get it, because it's letters, on Etsy. I'd love it if you could show the Panzer exclusive I made for you to the good people of the interwebs, or not, do your thing. <laughs> Hope your house is coming along. I know how crazy that can be. Keep doing whatever you do. Um, and then it's from Sierra, like I said, and this is super cute. Her, eep, hold on, let me take this off so I can show you. Okay, her Etsy shop is called Etsy.com slash shop slash Sierra Kayleen Photo, and that's C-I-E-R-A-K-A-Y-L-E-E-N-P-H-O-T-O. <laughs> and it is, it says Panzer, and it's like in rainbow colors with photography. And code Panzer 14 must do something. It might give you magical powers! Disclaimer, it might not actually give you magical powers. Anyways, and then she also sent me, oh, these are great. These are, these are Hello Kitty Puffy stickers. Oh my god, they're so great. I love them. They're so cute. They have like all different things. Like this is Baker Hello Kitty. You see her, Baker Hello Kitty. And then there's Painter Hello Kitty. And then here's... What is she doing? Is that bad? She's naked. She's in a towel. That's scandalous, Hello Kitty. Scandalous. I love this. Thank you for everything. So if you guys want to check out her Etsy shop, I'll link it in the info below. I'm a nice girl like that. All right, let's just gently throw that on the floor. I kid, I kid. The next is from Megan. And for the record, I did actually tweet her and told her that I got this. Because Megan is super cool. I think she was living in Japan for a little while because she's in a military family. I really, I might have screwed that up. I might just be making up backstory. And if I am, I apologize, Megan. Especially because you sent me this amazing Flareon. And his little tag is in Japanese. And it's got a price tag that's not in dollars. <laughs> I only know how to do things in dollars. Dollars. I'm kidding. That's not a real accent. I don't know what that was. I'm a little embarrassed by it. I apologize. I love my Flareon. And it's funny because when I opened this box, I didn't want it to get separated from the box because I wanted to make sure I appropriately said thank you to the person who sent it to me because I have a really bad habit of taking stuff out of boxes and then not knowing who sent it to me and then thanking the wrong person or 
not giving people appropriate credit, proper credit. Appropriate isn't even the right word there. Listen, it's been a long day. Anyway, so I had the box open, and just like his little puff tail was sticking out, and my cat, Leroy, was all like, meow, meow, and he was like licking it. It was like the cutest thing. So like as much as I love Flareon, I, I kind of think my cat might steal this and make it his best friend. But if you knew me very well, you would know that that's a way bigger compliment than me setting it on a shelf because I love my cat. My cat is my child. Like, I'm well on my way to being the crazy cat lady. If it wasn't for Nick, I would already be there. It's just that I'm not single, so I've got that going for me. But I've got three cats right now, and I am actively trying. Like, you hear about people finding stray kittens. Why not me? Why is that not my life? Do you know what I would give for, like, a stray kit to go outside? You're like, oh, 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 I'm outside. Oh, my God, kitten. Who, who does that happen to? Not me. I would love to find a kitten because Nick could not say no or be mad at me. Like, if I go get a kitten and bring it home, Nick's going to be like, you got a pet without consulting us. You just invested in 18 to 22 year commitment without talking to me about it first because you knew I'd say no. And then I'd be like, no, I just found it. It's just abandoned. And it's, I just found this little baby kitten. You want me to put it back out on the street? And he'd be like, no. So, like, I know that if I found a kitten, I could have a kitten. And I will never find one because that is my life. Like, I'm literally about to go for intentional jogs. Jogs. Jogging. In low-income neighborhoods because that's often where stray cats come from. So, like, if you see someone, like, jogging, this is my jogging, and they're, like, scanning the ground or getting too close to, like, porches, it's fine. I'm just looking for kittens. I'm just kitten hunting. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> okay, that was a weird rant. I'm gonna go. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I hope that you catch them all. <gasps> Which reminds me, Netflix is going to have Pokemon. Well, I don't know when this video is going up, but it's as of March 1st, and I'm so excited. I'm going to watch it, and then when I watch it all, I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to go. I hope that you're having a great day, and I will talk to you so soon. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.